Hi friends, so in this video uh, we will discuss about the mapping functions. So this is the continuation of, continuation of previous video that is a cache memory. So there are three mapping functions that are available. So one is a direct mapping and second one is a fully associated mapping and third one is a set associated mapping. So in the next, next in this slide, so what are the components are there in the uh, main memory address. So if you want to reach the main memory, ad main memory you need an address that is the logical address. Logical address will be generated by the processor. So how many components are there? So three components are there. So one is the uh, offset bit and second one is the tag bit and third one is the index bit. So here uh, what is the use of uh, offset bit? So offset bit may be used to identify exact data in the exact memory location. So that is the offset may be used. Then most significant uh, portion that is a tag bit. So tag bit may be uh, called uh, called as the uh, uh, first one. That is a you can identify which block is having the uh, that particular data. So that is the initial portion. This is the initial portion of the uh, address. And the last one is the index bit. That is a cache line. So how many lines may be required to represent the cache? So that is, these are the three components. One is the offset bit, and second one is the tag bit, and third one is the index bit. So in here, how to calculate the address? So example, if you are uh, saying uh, cache memory size is the 64 KB and the uh, main memory size is the 16 KB. So like how the cache memory uh, may be mapped with the main memory here. Uh, example, consider this example here. So cache size is 64 KB. So now this can be divided into number of blocks. Okay. So here each block size need to be four, four bytes. So equal to so this is called offset bit. So uh, that is cache. That is a block size equal to uh, offset bit. So now uh, here example uh, 16 KB, 16 uh, KB. Uh, here lines of how many uh, bytes will be there? Lines of four bytes. So example again 64K. That is the here. Is the missing here? Two to the power of 14. Two to the power of 14. And uh, that can be represented. Uh, 16 KB may be represented into two to the power of 14. And here 64 KB may be represented in the form of two to the power of 16. So this is the why uh, two to the power of 14 and two to the power of 16. So that is uh, 16 KB need to be represented in the form of number of bits. Okay, so that is 14. Okay, so and the 64 KB need to be represented in the number of bits. So that is equal to 2 to the power of 16. Okay, so then if you are considering the main memory, so example if the main memory size is the 16 MB. So how many bits may be required? to uh, support the address ok so here also uh, this is not uh, 224 this is this is 2 to the power of 24 so 2 to the power of 24 that is a 24 bit address is required to support the 16 MB main memory so this is one example then second example if you are taking so main memory size is a 32 MB how many bits are required to represent the 32 MB main memory so here how many bits that is 32 MB can be represented in the bits equal to 2 to the power of 25. So 25 bits may be required to represent the 32 MB cache memory. So in this slide, so we can exactly know how the bits are placed in the whole address. Okay, so three components are there. So one is the tag bit and second one is the line or slot or this may be called as an index bit and last one is a word or offset bit. Right? Okay, so here the uh, word identifier, there is a two bit word identifier that is it, it may be called as an offset bit and here 22 bit block identifier. So here you need to understand what is the difference between word identifier and what is and block identifier. So word identifier exact data need to be identified by the that two bits that is called offset bit. And 22 bit that is a block identifier that is it may have the combination of uh, tag bit and the uh, index bit. So this combination will provide or it will indicate which block is having the particular word in the memory. So this is how you can uh, understand how the bits are placed in the uh, logical address. The three components tag, index and the uh, offset. So this in this slide you can see how the 
main memory, 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 map to with the cache memory. So here, uh, both the memories are equal. That's why you can understand direct mapping. So here, here uh, m minus one blocks are there in the main memory. Same time, m minus one blocks are there in the cache memory. So there is no deviation. So 16 MB, uh, 16 KB uh, main memory, also 16 KB cache memory. So this is how it will be mapped. So in the later slide, we will we'll see how the uh, things will be calculated, right? Here, this is this is the working of the, uh, that is the logical address will be mapped to the cache memory and the main memory. So if the data is available in the cache memory, automatically you will get the cache hit. If the data is not available in this cache memory, automatically it need to be get it from the main memory that is cache miss. Okay, so how? So here memory address. There memory address is there. So memory address is having three components: tag bits and the index bits and the word bit, right? So tag and index bit. So if you are checking that line, so it may need to be uh, it can be used to identify the block. So blocks also in the cache line. Uh, will have the tag. So every block it may have the tag. So that tag under line index line bits, the combination you can identify which block is having the particular word. So then the word that is the offset bit, it need be identified. It can be used to identify the exact location of the data. So this is how the uh, address will be uh, divided and it can be used to identify the data in the exact memory location. If the cache hit occurs directly, you can get the data from the cache memory. But if the data is not available in the cache memory, so you can, you need to again, you need to check with the main memory, that is the cache miss. Catch miss occurs automatically, you need to verify the data in the main memory. So in the next slide, this is the uh, simulation example. So it's available in the, uh, one of the website, uh, educational website. So I'll, uh, I have mentioned that particular tag, the website URL link with the with this video, so you can get it there. So here we just consider the catch address structure. So here I, uh, this simulator mentioned that so main memory size is a 32 MB, then catch size is the 64 KB, and block size is 4, so 4 bytes. Then the mapping scheme is a direct mapping. So just just see this picture. So here you can see that is a tag bit, index bit, index bit, and last one is offset bit. Offset is offset bit is not shown. But here you can see how it can be calculated. Okay, so memory size is a 32 MB. So 32 MB can be represented into 2 to the power of 25. So here 2 to the power of 25. Then block size is the how many bytes? So the 4 bytes is the one block size. So that can be represented into 2 to the power of 2. So now you can know the value of memory size and the block size. Now you are going to identify how many blocks are there in the cache memory. So that is the, the formula is there for there to identify number of blocks in the cache memory. So the formula is catch size divided by block size. Catch size divided by block size equal into now what is the catch size? So catch size is a 64 KB is the catch size. So here we have we have mentioned here. Then the block size is 4. So now 64 KB need to be represented into number of bits same way 4 bytes need to be represented into number of bits ok so 64 KB represented into 2 to the power of 16 then divided by uh, 4 bytes that is a 2 to the power of 2 now you, if you are if you are dividing the uh, powers you can go for the subtract, subtraction that is a 2 to the power of 16 minus 2 to the power of 2 so result will be 2 to the power of 14 now how many blocks in the cache memory that is called 2 to the power of 14. So to, this is this is the number of blocks. That is the index bit. Number of index bits. Then the it may be represented in 2 to the power of 14. Now we are going to identify. That is we are going to call, calculate the tag bit. How to calculate the tag bit? So here the tag bit formula is total number of bits. That is a how many bits you need you need to have to represent the main memory address. That is 2 to the power of 25. That is the total number of bits. Then what is meant by index bit? So index bit, the index bit already we have calculated that is 2 to the power of 14. And next one is the offset bit. So offset bit is the block size is the offset bit that is a 2 to the power of 2. Now here we have calculated 2 to the power of 25 minus 2 to the power of 14 and minus and minus 2 to the power of 2. So now what is the value? The value is a 
nine, uh, 9 is the value. So this is how you can identify how many bits are required to represent the tag bits and how many bits are required to represent the index bits and how many bits are required for the offset bit. So this is how you can calculate the main memory address for the direct mapping. So in the next video, we will discuss about uh, other mapping functions that is a fully associative mapping and the set associative mapping. Thank you.